interrupts the deep thought, haven't I? I can see it growing smaller in your eyes. Of course not. How are you, Luna? Very well. Got bitten by a garden gnome only moments ago. <sighs> gnome saliva is very beneficial. Xenophil is love good. We live just over the hill. Pleasure to meet you, sir. I trust you now, Mr. Potter, that we at the Quibbler and like those toadies at the Daily Prophet fully supported Dumbledore in his lifetime and in his death support you just as fully. Thank you. Come, Daddy. Harry doesn't want to talk to us right now. He's just too polite to say so. Harry Potter. Excuse me, sir. May I sit down? Mr. Potter, by all means. Yeah. <laughs> I found what you wrote in the Daily Prophet really moving. You obviously knew Dumbledore well. Well, I certainly knew him the longest. That is, if we don't count his brother Aberforth, and somehow people never do seem to count Aberforth. I didn't even know he had a brother. Ah, well, Dumbledore was always very private, even as a boy. Don't despair, Elphius. I'm told he's been thoroughly unriddled by Rita Skeeter in 800 pages, no less. Word has it that someone talked to her. Someone who knew the Dumbledore family well. Both you and I know who that is, Elphius. A monstrous betrayal. Uh, who, who are we talking about? Bathilda Bagshot. Oh, my God, boy, she's only the most celebrated magical historian of the last century. She was as close to the Dumbledores as anyone. Oh, I'm sure Rita Skeeter thought it well worth a trip to Godric's Hollow to take a peek into that old bird's rattled cage. Godric's Hollow? Bethilda Bagshot lives at Godric's Hollow. Well, that's where she first met Dumbledore. You don't mean to say he lived there too? The family moved there after his father killed those three muggles. <laughs> it was quite the scandal. Honestly, my boy, are you sure you knew him at all? Can't go anywhere till after the wedding. What wedding? Bill and Fleur. We would have told you, but you've been sort of unconscious. You'd better get ready, mate. You can't expect him to go to the wedding like this. Just take your time, Harry. Make sure you're all right. Ron's right. If I can't go to a wedding, how am I supposed to find the other Horcruxes? Dumbledore's gone. We have to finish what he started. We have to destroy Voldemort. I've been wondering. Voldemort, you know who, hid his soul in Horcruxes, right? And two have been destroyed, right? Do you think he knows that part of him is dead? I don't care. Let's just find the other four and destroy what remains. Can we talk about this later, please? We shouldn't spoil Bill and Fleur's big day. By me! Seems loony runs in the jeans. Who is that? Luna's father, Xenophilius. We should say hello. He supported Harry all through the summer when the Prophet's been ignoring the truth. Besides, it might be the last chance we get to speak to Luna. It's strange, thinking everyone will be back at Hogwarts without us. Hello, Mr. Lovegood. Ah, I trust you know, Mr. Potter, that we at the Quibbler fully supported Dumbledore during his lifetime, and in his death, support you just as fully. Uh, thanks. 
Is Luna with you? She lingered in that charming little garden. Such a glorious infestation of gnomes. Or, to give them their correct name, the Gernumbly Gardensi. You might want to congratulate Mr. Weasley on them. He was looking for you just now. Thanks. Yeah, I will. A friend of mine went to Beau Baton. Really? Are uh, there supposed to be fireworks before the wedding? The Ministry has swollen. The Minister of Magic is dead. <sighs> they are coming. Mm-hmm. <laughs>